Disney, I can see there are plenty of rooms left on this ship, so why won't you let me book one? Hey Disney Cruisers, so glad you can make it today. And if this is your first time finding this channel, then I would consider subscribing to it so it's easier to see all of your Disney Cruise planning in one spot on your subscription feed. And if you are a returning Disney Cruiser and already a part of our family, then give me a big thumbs up down below. The topic of this video is capacity, and before we get to that, I just want to say that I got something in the mail yesterday, and I'm very, very excited. If you think you know what that is, post in the comments below. I'll give you some time. Okay, great. When this first happened to me, I was at a loss for words. I did not know why it was happening. I thought I was losing my mind. I was on the DCL website. I was planning a cruise and I kept putting in different dates and different scenarios. When I would look at different cruise itineraries, I would also plug in my kids' ages, how old they would be at that time because I was looking at so many dates that they would have had their birthday by then. So I was plugging in lots of dates, putting us in as a party of four, looking at all the itineraries. And sometimes when I would accidentally forget to change my daughter's birthday, that was causing more cruises to appear. So then I would correct it and go back through the whole thing to try and find it again and the cruise would disappear. And I was going loony. I did not understand what was happening at all. So I'm gonna tell you what happens and then that way you don't have to think that you're losing your mind like I was. Disney wants everyone on the cruise ship to have a really, really super fun time, which they do an excellent job at, and they also want people to be super duper safe. So because of this, they have capacity limits at their kids' clubs. It's not like a general, there can only be 500 kids on the ship. They break it down into each specific club. Once that age range of club gets filled to capacity based on kids who are in the booking parties of those who are planning to go on the cruise, then that age kid cannot get on the ship. So if in your party you have an eight-year-old and they have already determined that the Oceaneers Lab and Oceaneers Club are filled to capacity, your eight-year-old cannot go on the ship. So if you're searching the itineraries with your eight-year-old in your party, the cruise that has the full to capacity Oceaneers Lab and Oceaneers Club won't even show up on your search. So theoretically, you could be searching for things as a party of two, just adults, and find way more cruises than you would if you were searching for your family of four. What makes it super confusing is if you go on there, you can still see staterooms available. Sometimes it's a stateroom category problem. You're a family of four and all they have left are rooms that do not have a pull down bunk. In that case, your family won't fit on that ship either. Their capacity level is if every single kid in that age group was in the kids club at one time, that's how they determine the capacity level. So like I said, not only does it keep the kids safe, but it also makes it to where you don't have to have reservations for the kids club. You can just come and go as you please. They're never going to turn away your kid at the gate because they're busy. This also is really great for adults because this also means that kids are not just running around the ship and you're like the minority. It's not like it's 90% kids on the cruise and 10% adults. This helps even out traffic flow and activities, the dining room, everything. Some important takeaways about this. If you think you are going to book a room and then add on your kids later, that might not happen. They might have reached capacity for your kids' ages. Also, if you're planning a big, huge family trip and there are like six or seven immediate families all traveling together, I would book all at the same time because it'd be pretty poopy if it was your family that couldn't get on the ship because you waited a little too long and your kids can't come with you. If you do decide to leave your kids at home, then you can look at this video right here where I talk about all the benefits of traveling on a Disney cruise without your kids. It's fun. Disney is not trying to trick you. It's not like some people are randomly getting rooms to pop up and like it's not fair. It's, it is fair. Also good to remember that you need to put the age of your kid on your reservation, the age they're gonna be when you're on the ship so you don't run into a problem later. Now, if your kids are tired of being in the kids club, because I mean, sometimes they do get tired of being in there. And if that does happen, then you'll wanna subscribe so you can get a notification on my next video that I have coming out that is going to tell you all about my favorite place to sit on the ship. And not just where I like to sit, but where my entire family likes to sit. Disney Cruisers, thanks so much for stopping by and watching this video today. I hope you have a wonderful, beautiful, fabulous, blessed day planning out the rest of your Disney Cruise Line vacation. And I cannot wait to see your vlogs posted once you get back. Bye, Cruisers. Bye.